1. What are the different factors that can affect your credit score? There are many different factors that can affect your credit score. Some of these factors include Your payment history, the amount of debt you have, the length of your credit history, the types of credit you have, your credit utilization. What are some things you can do to improve your credit score? There are many things you can do to improve your credit score. Some of these things include Making all of your payments on time, paying off your debts, keeping your credit utilization low, opening new lines of credit, keeping your old lines of credit open. What are some common myths about credit scores? There are many common myths about credit scores. Some of these myths include You need to have a perfect credit score to get approved for loans. You need to have a high credit score to get a low interest rate. Credit scores are static and never change. What are the consequences of having a low credit score? There are many consequences of having a low credit score. Some of these consequences include You may be denied for loans. You may be charged higher interest rates. You may be denied for credit cards. You may be denied for apartments. Late payments. If you're behind on your credit card payments, it will negatively impact your credit score. Make sure you keep up with your payments to avoid this issue. High balances. If you have high balances on your credit cards, it can also negatively impact your credit score. Try to keep your balances low to avoid this issue. Maxed out credit cards. If you max out your credit cards, it will also negatively impact your credit score. Try to keep your balances low and don't max out your credit cards. Using too much of your credit limit. If you use too much of your credit limit, it can negatively impact your credit score. Try to keep your balances low and don't use too much of your credit limit. Closing credit accounts. If you close your credit accounts, it can negatively impact your credit score. Try to keep your accounts open and don't close them. Hard inquiries. If you have hard inquiries on your credit report, it can negatively impact your credit score. Try to avoid hard inquiries by only applying for credit when you need it. Having a short credit history. If you have a short credit history, it can negatively impact your credit score. Try to build up your credit history by using credit responsibly over time. Using your credit cards for cash advances. If you use your credit cards for cash advances, it can negatively impact your credit score. Try to avoid cash advances by using your credit cards only for purchases. Paying your bills late. If you're like most people, you probably have a few bills that you're behind on. While it's not ideal, it's not the end of the world either. The important thing is to catch up as soon as possible. One thing to keep in mind is that late payments can negatively impact your credit score. So, if you're hoping to improve your credit, it's best to pay your bills on time. Having a lot of debt. If you have a lot of debt, it can be difficult to keep up with your payments. And, if you're only making the minimum payments, it can take years to pay off your debt. If you're struggling to pay off your debt, there are a few things you can do. You can try to negotiate with your creditors to lower your interest rates. You can also look into consolidation loans or credit counseling. Closing credit cards. If you're trying to improve your credit, you might be tempted to close some of your credit cards. After all, if you have fewer cards, you'll have less debt, right? Wrong. Closing credit cards can actually hurt your credit score. That's because it lowers your credit utilization ratio which is the amount of credit you're using compared to the amount of credit you have available. Applying for new credit cards. If you're trying to improve your credit, you might be tempted to apply for new credit cards. After all, if you have more credit, you'll have a better credit score, right? Wrong. Applying for new credit cards can actually hurt your credit score. That's because each time you apply for a new card, it results in a hard inquiry on your credit report. And too many hard inquiries can hurt your credit score. Having a bankruptcy on your credit report. If you have a bankruptcy on your credit report, it will stay there for 7 to 10 years. 
And, during that time, it will be difficult to get new credit. If you're trying to improve your credit, you'll need to focus on other factors, such as paying your bills on time and keeping your credit utilization low. Eventually, the bankruptcy will fall off your credit report and your score will start to improve. How to check your credit score It's important to keep tabs on your credit score. A good credit score can help you qualify for loans and credit cards with lower interest rates, while a bad credit score can make it difficult to get approved for any kind of credit. There are a few different ways to check your credit score. You can order a free credit report from each of the three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, once every 12 months through annual credit report. Come. Or, you can sign up for a free credit monitoring service like Credit Karma or Wallet Hub, which will give you regular updates on your credit score. How to improve your credit score If your credit score is not where you want it to be, there are a few things you can do to improve it. First, make sure you're paying all of your bills on time. This includes your credit card bills, student loans, car payments, etc. Late payments can have a big negative impact on your credit score. Second, try to keep your credit card balances low. Credit utilization, which is the percentage of your credit limit that you're using, is a major factor in your credit score. So, if you have a $5,000 credit limit and you're using $3,000 of that, your credit utilization is 60%. Try to keep your credit utilization below 30%, and ideally below 10%, to help improve your credit score. Third, if you have any negative marks on your credit report, like late payments or collections, try to get them removed. You can do this by negotiating with your creditors or, if you have a legitimate reason, by requesting a goodwill deletion from the credit bureau. How to rebuild your credit score If your credit score is really low, you may need to take some more drastic measures to rebuild it. This could include getting a secured credit card, which is a credit card that requires a deposit, or becoming an authorized user on someone else's credit card. You can also try to get a bad credit loan, which is a loan specifically for people with bad credit. These loans will usually have higher interest rates than traditional loans, but they can help you rebuild your credit if you make all of your payments on time. Finally, make sure you keep tabs on your credit report and credit score so you can see your progress over time. Rebuilding your credit is a slow process, but it's definitely possible with some patience and effort. Rebuilding your credit is a slow process, but it's definitely possible with some patience and effort. If you like this video please like and subscribe thank you.